listen, sister. Don't listen to people who are speaking against us. You hear me? Amen. Huh? Amen. Because now this thing is reaching your ears. I nearly got affected. Huh? I nearly got affected and I prayed this morning that I must delete everything that I had. You, you, you prayed this morning? Yes, even after I had it. I said, God, delete everything that I had because it's affecting my faith and I don't want it you to happen. You know I was not there. Huh? I know you are not there. I'm uh, even surprised. You're surprised? Yes. But I'm telling you now because the devil wants to remove you. You are very close to your miracle. Amen. These are agent of Satan. Now, Amen. They want to stop your breakthrough. Are you Amen. Ready? Amen. Eh? Because you have been crying, praying God. Yes. You want to see a change. Now they are telling you about who's Makananisa. So yes. I want to tell you that very soon they will see you testifying. Bring her. Bring her to me. Because these people have attacked her already. Come on. Out. So what are you doing to her? Why are you blocking her? Huh? Why are you blocking a miracle? Why? She wants to help churches. Huh? She wants to uplift everyone. She's got everything. So now you want to stop her not to, not to help me? Yes. Huh? You've got everything too. You and her are the same. So now... Where what? what is taking her is too far, it's high up. So now, why she wants do you... to support ministries? She wants to support everyone around her. She wants to help, help, help. So, why are you telling bad things about me? You want to stop her from coming here? You want to stop? Yes. All right, just leave her now. Leave her today in Jesus' name. Can you tell us your name and where you come from? My name is Kachiso Lekhoto. I'm from Pochestrum. And can you tell us what the man of God has said to you today and also confirm it? Uh, the man of God said that I was under attack because there are a lot of things that I heard about the church and them and with, of which it was true. And the fact that they were speaking the things that they were speaking to you, how was it affecting you? Uh, my faith was already affected because this morning I didn't want to come to church and I told myself that um, I don't want to come here anymore and yeah, it really affected me badly. And the fact that you decided that you didn't want to come here anymore, were you believing what they were saying? I was half believing, half not believing, so I prayed about it and I asked God to give me the grace and the strength to come to church. And I ask God to also delete everything that I've heard so that I can start afresh and believe the man of God and the word and believe uh, whatever that's happening in Charis and not believe other people rather. And how are you feeling now that the man of God located you? I feel very happy and very lighter now. I felt like I had a burden actually. So that thing is out now. So there's clarity in my life now. Yeah, if there was no, no clarity, if men of God didn't talk to me today, I wouldn't have known the truth. So I'm very happy that he located me and now I have clarity. No, I want to stay here in Charis. I've seen the, the grace of Charis and I've seen, I've had testimonies from here in Charis and I love this church.